and a warm welcome on what is an ideal night for football, you've got to say. My name is Derek Ray, and joining me in the commentary position is the former Arsenal and England fullback Lee Dixon. I'm greatly looking forward to bringing you live coverage of this match being played in Serie A. It's Sampdoria, and they take on Parma. Thanks, Derek. Well, both managers will be reminding their players how important it is to get off to a quick start here. Attack the game from the off, impose your game plan, and hopefully we get a good game. And the initial 11 for Sampdoria. A standard 4-4-2, a formation you know well from your playing days, Lee. Yeah, I like this formation, Derek. It's very, very important that when they haven't got the ball, they all stick together, very solid look about it. When they don't have the ball, very important that they stay close together in midfield. The back four will link across the width of the pitch, but they've got to help the forwards. The two up front Grazie need width. And a look at the starting lineup for Parma. We're thinking 4-3-3. Yeah, one central striker, Derek. The width comes from the wingers who will stay high and wide. A very narrow midfield and a conventional back four. Torsby. Adrian Silva. Fabio Quagliarella. Morton Torsby. Gabbiadini. Andrea Silva. Well, they keep passing away. Augello. Wonderful tackle. Excellent ball over the top. Well, he'll be irked with himself, ran into an offside position. Fabio Quagliarella. And he saw the situation developing. Nani. Well, let's see if something comes of this. Well, he stumped it out of there without much fuss. Now, what can they do from here? And Dreva, what can he do? He cuts it back. Might take the lead. And a goal! Now they have their opener. And now can celebrate well here it is again lovely disguise on the cross the pullback catches out the defenders and then the sheer power of the strike really impressive it's a thunderbolt One nil then. Galliolo. Brugman has it. 
I must say, this looks promising. It's there for him. Oh, there it is! A back and forth sort of match. Now they're level again. The lead lasted merely minutes. Well, here's the replay, and it's a lovely through ball to set up the chance. But then there's still plenty to do from here. Under all sorts of pressure from the defender, he just about keeps him at bay and finishes with a plum. Great goal. Well, the earlier goal cancelled out. One apiece. A move of promise on the flank. And he's got the beating of his opponent. Pulls it back. And there to intervene. Promising sequence. What can he do from here? And it's in! The back in front. Stunning scenes here. Well, you tell youngsters in that position just to hit the target. You can't score unless you do. And on this occasion, he does, and he scores. Well, let's take another look at that goal, shall we? So there we have it. 2-1. Gaston Brugman. Galliolo. Brugman has it. Hernani. Well read to put an end to that attack. And possession given away. Magnificent defending. Oh, nice work to get past his opponent. Adrian Silva, almost weighing up the opposition with a string of neat passes. Fabio Quagliarella. Candreva. And space for the cross. Torsby. Gabbiadini. Fine goalkeeping to push that away. Well, he's given a corner, the referee. Played into the centre of the box. Well, no end product. A chance then for the respective managers to address their charge. As anticipated, plenty of talking points so far. And now the second half is underway. Mattia Bani. Andrea Conti. Kutska. Well, disappointing end to the move. Fabio Quagliarella. Candreva here. And that was a very fine read. A creative look about this. Teammate and support. And he's done it. Parity again. A magnificent game unfolding. Well, here's the replay. That pullback cross is so hard to defend against. And a 2v1 is never fair. To be honest with you, the keeper's got no chance to stop this. It's lovely football. And it's level again here. Both sets of fans being put through something of an emotional mangle.
Colli. Si ricorda il gentile Messi pubblico che i pannelli informativi sono presenti in tutte le aree preposte per effettuare correttamente la raccolta di Getting forward all'interno dello stadio. Very alert defending to put a stop to the chance. Gagliolo. Pelé with it. Audero. Ball's gone. Throw ins given. And time for the change now. numero 18, Morten Torsby. Dentro con il numero 6, Albin Ekdal. Gagliolo. Hernani. Really a very poor ball. Well, he could really get at the opposition. how to do it oh he's given it penalty and an opportunity now for them to jump in front he's been admonished by the referee he's now got to walk something of a tightrope yeah he knows exactly where he stands look at the referee how he's told him off there no yellow card but certainly knows what the referee's thinking and that is when you need your goalkeeper Antonio Candreva responsible here. And a throw in it's going to be. We're now inside the final 20 minutes of the game. And he read it well, intercepting it. Pressing as a team. Brugman. Well, they've lost possession of the ball. And the conditions look pretty good for the counter-attack. Oh, lovely ball. And they'll regard that as a very disappointing end to the move. Applying vigorous pressure. And that's gone out of play for what will be a goal kick. Can they push ahead on the closing stages? Graziano Pelé. This looks promising. Cipria. Cuts it back. That is a moment he would dearly love to have back, if possible. Yeah, it wasn't his best effort, was it? But I bet he thought, I haven't got anything on. Why not try a shot? And five minutes to go. Fabio Quagliarella. Promising looking ball. Splendid defending and it needed to be. Andreas Cornelius. So two minutes of stoppage time to be added on. Still pushing for what could be a winner. There's a slide draw pass. This is why we adore this game. Late drama, and now they're in front. Well, it looks like the game is over, but no. There's another chance, and there it is, back of the net. It looks like the winner. Well, as we see again here, the damage is started with a beauty of a through ball. And once he gets himself settled with the keeper to beat, he hammers it into the back of the net. Smashing goal.
And that is that. The referee blows his whistle for full time, and it's a victory for the visitors, Lee. Well, it was tight, wasn't it? Just done enough in the end.